Hi, everybody. Here, have a seat. To all the big kids, sorry for the confusion. I'm just a kid, so I'm sitting in back with the kids. How are you today? Good. Yeah, no okay, let's try that again. How are you doing today? Oh, that's better. Okay, so anybody have any idea what's going on today? Any special day? Birthdays, Christmas, Father's New Year's? Day. Oh, Father's Day. Okay. So what do we do on Father's Day? Celebrate our fathers. Okay. What do we celebrate our fathers? What do we do? Very good. We spend time together with them. Anything else? Give them a kiss? Okay. Gifts. I'm sorry. I was like, yeah, you gave me a kiss this morning. Okay, yes, gifts. That's good. Um, yes? Very good. Thank them for doing all that they do for us. You know, this morning or this afternoon, we're going to have a memorial service for Ada Earl. And she was like one of my mothers. She knew me for a very, very long time. And she would tell me when she was proud and she'd tell me when she was sad or disappointed. But if I look out into the crowd, here, stand up. Stand up. Yeah, I know you got it. You sat down. Yeah, you stand up. Okay. But you look out. I'm going to tell you something about Fort Street. Even though one row of people are on my family tree, you know, if we go with families, mothers, fathers, grandfathers, everybody here is part of my bigger family. So the one thing about Fort Street that always, because I, I started here when I was about this big, about this big, maybe, maybe a little smaller, was that everybody here is my family. And I continue to get lessons from them, even this week. So we might not always get along. We might not even always like each other. But we are still a family. See the, the, the lady right there in, in the black hat, the beautiful black hat? She would take me up north for three weeks at a time, and she'd be my mother at a camp. I used to work the kitchen with her. And there are gentlemen in back who would also take me for a week. And then they would look after me here at church. So Father's Day is almost like a family day. It's a celebration of not only what fathers have done, but what they've allowed us to do. Because my father allowed me to get to know everybody out here. And he allowed me to care about kids to become a teacher. And not just say, well, it's just for me. I want to go make money. We don't make much money. We're not ever going to be rich. But he taught me to care. So when you thank your fathers, I want you to think about what they've done, what they've taught you, how to be, and what they've, gifts they've given you, what lessons. Now i got one last question for you. Okay, you can sit back down. We all have one common father. Who is that? Okay. God. Now we should pray a lot. Does he ever answer? Okay, he does. Dads give lessons. Mom gives more real things. Mom will give you laundry. Dad will give you a lesson to think about. A couple days later, you get it. You go, oh, that's what he was talking about. I get it now. But did God ever give us lessons? Okay, I'm hearing a yes and a no. How about the yes? What lessons did he give us? Okay, the Ten Commandments. Where do we find those? The Bible. What was Miss Motoko just reading from? The Bible. We see our dads, we see our granddads, and we give them a hug. We feel God, and we should thank him. But let's not forget that he also gave us something. He gave us the writings of how to live. He gave us the lessons. And where do we find those lessons at? Okay, come on, I fed this to you. The Bible. So when you go home, give your dads and granddads a hug and a kiss, and it's okay for boys to give hugs and kisses. You go, give them a hug and a kiss. Say thank you. 
And then, after dinner, ask, hey, do you got a minute? Let's go look at the Bible. And look at it. And read what's there. And I don't do that all the time. I'm just as bad as anyone else. But we should, because it's a lesson that we need to think about, and we need to try and live, just like we need to listen to our own fathers. Okay? So have a great day. Make sure you hug and kiss your fathers and grandfathers. Hug and kiss your moms, too, because it takes two. Okay? And I think we're done. Have a great day, everybody.